This is class 18, example one. This is from Hibbler's 14th edition, problem 16, 130. In a crane with a telescopic boom rotates with an angular velocity and angular acceleration shown. So both of them are rotating in the clockwise direction. At the same instant, the boom is extending. Right here, it shows it extending and with a constant speed of 0.5 five feet per second measured relative to the boom determine the magnitudes of the velocity and acceleration of point b at this instant i decided to do this problem using vectors right so we need to um, write out some of the things uh here um, in this position we know that theta is equal to 30 degrees and uh, we were given um, omega AB was equal to negative 0 0.02 uh, K. Radians per second and alpha AB as a vector is equal to negative 0 0.01 K radians per second squared so it shows up right there and there and we also were given that v rel is going to be equal to 0 0.5 uh, uh, feet per second and um, i'm going to decide that my i is right here and my j is right there okay so that this uh, feet per second is going to be in the j direction. Yep. Okay. So for a velocity analysis, we say that the velocity of b is going to be equal to the velocity of a plus omega a B uh, crossed with R um, B A B with respect to A uh, plus V rel and um, I should I should have written that the R is equal to um, sixty uh, J. And that's feet and I think that's it okay um, we saw as right that a rel was equal to zero so VB is going to be equal to let's see a is stationary so it's zero um, take that negative 0 0.02 and multiply it by our 60 and then cross our K with our j right here and then add in our uh, 0 0.5 j um, when we do that cross we end up with a negative i so our velocity is going to be equal to 1.200 right so that that's going to be that 60 times that 0 0.02 and that minus and minus cancel each other out so that's i and then we're going to have um, plus 0 0.5 j all right um and then if we were to take the velocity of b um, and take the square root of the two things squared we find that we get 1.300 feet per second and I think they wanted the magnitudes, right? So that was that was just answering that question. Now we move on to the acceleration analysis. And I'm changing the purple for no reason. So the acceleration. Um, the acceleration of B is going to be equal to the acceleration of A plus the angular acceleration AB crossed with RBA minus the magnitude of the 
angular velocity squared times the position vector plus the relative uh, acceleration plus 2 omega um, that's going to be AB crossed with V rel. All right. So that's actually where the thing is going to show up or it's going to matter. So AB is going to be equal to, well, acceleration A is 0 um, plus, uh, we'll take the magnitude 0 0.01 times 60 K crossed with J. Um, minus negative 0 0.02, doesn't matter that it's negative because it gets squared, uh, times 60, and that's going to be in the j direction because that's the uh, where the position vector is right there, and then the relative acceleration is 0 plus 2 times, let's see, 0 0.02 times uh, the magnitude of 0.5 and then we'll cross the um, unit vectors against each other right here and uh, let's see what did I do I said that this one was a negative uh, 0 0.6 and this right here we crossed K against J we get negative I we see that the negative negative right there they're going to cancel out um, here we're going to get a value of 0 0.0240 uh, remains J down here for this whole thing um, I note that it's negative 0 0.02 because that 2 and that 0.5 cancel each other out and then this one again is negative I and then the negatives and the negatives cancel out so the acceleration of B ends up being being 0 0.620 i plus negative 0 0.0240 j so we take and find the magnitude there because that's what we were asked and we get 0 0.624 so you could see that the um, uh, this other term doesn't really uh, uh, d doesn't really do much right here uh, to to the overall answer to the thing. So uh, that's the answer uh, to this problem. It's a pretty much just particle kinematics. I mean, it's not really um, uh, it's not really a rigid body problem because there's nothing really except that the the, I guess the, the, the piece is, it is a rigid uh, piece of equipment. Um, so anyway, see, because once you round this thing off right there, it doesn't, it doesn't even matter what that was. So this is the answer.